Good day everyone. Today we'll be tackling Chapter 5 of Advanced Management Information System, the Emerging Technologies and Information Technology Infrastructure. This will be presented by Team Anthony Carrera and Micaela Hernandez. Good day, my name is Micaela P. Hernandez and let us proceed with Technology Drivers of Infrastructure Evolution. Standard and Network Effects of IT Infrastructure Without agreements between manufacturers and widespread customer acceptance of technology standards, today's enterprise infrastructure and internet computing would not be possible, either now or in the future. When we say standard and network effects, it is the technology standards, the specifications that establish the compatibility of products and the ability to communicate in a network. It is also to unleash powerful economies of scale and result in price declines as manufacturers focus on products built to a certain standard. Some of, some of the important Standards that have shaped IT infrastructure includes IASCII, Unix, TCP or IP, Ethernet, the IBM, Microsoft, Intel Personal Computer, and the World Wide Web. Table 5.1. Here are some important standards in computing. We have American Standard Code for Information Infrastructure. So ASCII um, 1958 uh, made it possible for computer machines from different manufacturers to exchange data. Next is Common Business Oriented Language, or COBOL 1959, an ECU software language that greatly expand the ability of programmers to write business-related programs. Next is Unix, 1969 to 1975, a powerful multitasking, multi-user portable operating system initially developed at Bell Labs. Next is Transmission Control Protocol or Internet Protocol, TCP or IP, year 1974, suit of communications protocols and a common addressing scheme that enables millions of computers to connect together in one giant global network or the internet next is ethernet 1973 a network standard for con connecting desktop computers and to local area networks that enable the widespread adoption or adoption of client or server computing Next is IBM, Microsoft, Intel, Intel Personal Computer, 1981. The standard Wintel design for personal desktop computing based on the standard Intel processors and other standard devices, Microsoft DOS, and later Windows software. Next is World Wide Web, 1989 to 1993, standard for sorting. Standards for storing, retrieving, for formatting, and displaying information as a world wide web of electronic pages, incorporating text, graphics, audio, and video, enables creation of a global repository and billions of web pages. And now let's proceed with infrastructure components. So, an IT infrastructure refers to a system necessary to operate and manage enterprise and ecosystem. IT infrastructure can be implemented in cloud or inside the company's own facilities. The importance of this is they assist companies in meeting their objectives while potentially maximizing profit.
Next, computer hardware platforms in 2023 business across the globe were anticipated to spend $448 billion on hardware, including servers and client devices. In Blade servers in racks, Intel or AMDA specifically for servers are also used in server market. Blade servers are computers made up of circuit ports with processors, memory, and network con connections that are kept in racks. In comparison to conventional box-based servers, they occupy less space. This is what Blade server looks like. A Blade server consists of chases containing multiple thin, modular electronic circuit boards known as server blades, with each blade being dedicated to a single application. Each blade contains processors on or an optional fiber channel host bus adapter or HPA, integrated network controllers, and other input or output ports. White box server is a data center computer that is not manufactured by a well-known brand name vendor. White box servers can be found in large data centers run by giant internet companies like Google or Facebook. For operating system platforms, we have Linux and Unix. So Linux, just like Windows, iOS, and Mac OS, Linux is an operating system. In fact, one of the most popular platforms on the planet, Android is powered by the Linux operating system. An operating system is a software that manages all the hardware resources associated with your desktop or laptop. To put it simply, the operating system manages the communication between your software and your hardware without the operating system. The software wouldn't function. Next, what is Unix? Unix is trade, uh, the trademark as Unix is a multi-user, multitasking operating system designed for flexibility and adaptability. Originally developed in 1970s, Unix was one of the first OSs to be written in the C programming language. Since its introduction, the Unix operating system and its offshoots have had a profound effect on the computer and electronics industry, offering portability, stability, and interoperability across the range of heterogeneous environments and device types. New Operating Systems for Computers Connected to the cloud or handled mobile digital devices Netbooks can use Google Chrome's OS, a minimal operating system, or cloud computing. The Chrome web browser is used to access programs that are kept on the user's computer but are rather are utilized through the internet. The Open Handset Alliance, headed by Google, created the open source Android operating system for mobile devices, including smartphones and tablet computers. It has overtaken iOS, Apple's mobile operating system for the iPhone, iPod, and iPod Touch to become the most widely used smartphone platform globally. Next, Enterprise Software Application. About $301 billion were spent by businesses globally in 2013 on corporate application software, which was viewed as part of IT infrastructure. SAP and Oracle are two biggest producers of business application software, which acquired PeopleSoft. This group also includes middleware software, which is provided by suppliers like IBM and Oracle and is used to connect the firm's existing application systems in order to achieve firm-wide integration. SAP is part of ERP, which is an IT tool to assist companies in managing, planning, and carrying out various kinds of daily activities. SAP is divided into several parts, 
And one of them is the SAP operating system or what is often called the SAP base. SAP is associated with servers, database, and so on. Oracle Linux is an optimized and secure operating environment for application development and deployment. And PeopleSoft is a software that's part of the Oracle software product line. The PeopleSoft application was originally designed for finance and human resources support, but over time it has gone on to include more tools and applications for general business operations. Data management and storage. Enterprise database management software is in charge of managing and arranging the company's data so that it can be assessed and used effectively. More than 90% of the U.S. database software industry is supplied by the top four database software vendors, IBM DB2, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and Sybase Adoptive Server Enterprise. So Sybase database servers consist of a data server and a backup server. Microsoft SQL Server is a real... Uh, is a relational database management system that supports a wide variety of transaction processing, business intelligence and analytics application in corporate IT environment. Next is Apache Hadoop is an open source software framework for managing enormous data volumes and MySQL is a Linux open source software relational database system that is currently owned by Oracle Corporation for large scale systems, AMC Corporation and Select Group of PC hard disk manufacturers led by Seagate and Western Digital. Um, and EMC Corporation is a multinational provider of products and services related to cloud computing, storage, big data, um, data analytics, information security, content, content management, and converged infrastructure. So the market for digital data storage devices has been expanding at a rate of more than 15% per year over the past five years due to the world's growing need for new digital information. Next, networking telecommunications platforms. In 2013, it was anticipated that businesses would invest $408 billion in telecommunications equipment and another $1.7 billion in telecom services. So as a local area network operating system, Windows Server and most frequently used, followed by Linux and Unix, the top manufacturers of networking hardware are Juniper Networks, Cisco, Alcatel, Lucent, and Norto and Cisco. So telecommunications or telephone services providers that offer voice and data connectivity, wide area networking, wireless services, and internet access generally proved telecommunications platforms. Leading providers of telecom services include AT&T and Verizon. New providers of wireless cellular, high-speed internet, and internet telephone services are flooding this market. In the Philippines, we have the Philippine Long Distance Tel Telephone Company or PLDT and Globe Telecom are the two major telecommunications carriers in the country. The current Philippine cellular infrastructure is Global System for Mobile Communications or GSM. Next, we have internet platforms. Internet platforms, they include the hardware, software, and administration services needed to operate a company's website, such as routers, uh, cabling, and wireless or web hosting services. A web hosting business manages a sizable web server or group of servers and offers space to subscribers who pay a monthly subscription to host their websites. 
As a result of the internet revolution, thousands of small servers were amassed by numerous companies to power their online operations. Consulting and System Integration Services A consulting firm or simply consultancy is a professional service firm that provides expertise and specialized labor for a fee through the use of consultants. So, Computer System Integration Services are the process of integrating your subcomponent systems into one functional system. The process combines your physical components such as machine systems and computer hardware and your virtual components including data, software, and applications. Accenture, IBM, Global Services, HP, Infosys, and Wipro Technologies are renowned consulting organizations that offer this kind of knowledge. So software integration entails making sure the new infrastructure is compatible with the company's older so-called legacy systems as well as the new infrastructure components are compatible with one another legacy systems are older transaction processing systems built for mainframe computers that are still in use to save money on replacing or redesigning them older technologies can be integrated into a modern infrastructure replacing them would be both expensive and unnecessary necessary. So processing system is a data processing system refers to the structure and procedure by which personal data is collected and processed in an information and communication system or any other rele relevant filing system. Next, contemporary hardware platform trends. A hardware platform is a set of compatible hardware on which software applications can be run. While the cost of computing has fallen, IT infrastructure and expenditures have grown due to the rising cost of computing services, software, the increase in intensity and sophistication of computing. Telecommunications and computing platforms had converged at the client level. With the merging of PDAs and cell phones and at the server and network level, with rise of internet telephony, more computing power is now being distributed across networks and ports. Next, the mobile digital platform. As an alternative to PCs and larger computers, new mobile devices, digital computing platforms have evolved. Smartphones like iPhone, Android, and BlackBerry have largely replaced PCs in terms of functionality, including data transmission, web browsing, email, and instant messaging transmission. Presenting digital material and data exchange with internal corporate systems, along with tablet computers like the iPod, compact, lightweight, netbooks, geared for wireless connection and internet access, and digital ebook readers with web access like Amazon Kindle are also part of new mobile platforms. Smartphones and tablets and computer are becoming an important means of accessing the internet. Both consumers and commercial apps are rapidly being used on these devices. Senior General Motors executives, for instance, use smartphone apps that delve deeper into data on vehicle sales, financial performance, manufacturing measures, and project management status. Next, consumeration of IT and BIOD. The practice of enabling employees to use their personal mobile devices at work, known as bring your own device, has gained popularity due to its ease of use and wide variety of useful applications for smartphones and tablet computers. BIOD is one example of how a new information technology that first appears in the consumer market seeps into commercial organizations as a result of the consumeration of IT. In addition to mobile personal devices, the consumeration of IT also affects business applications of software services including Gmail, Google Apps, Dropbox, Google Search, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as Google and Yahoo Search. 
Gmail and Google Apps in order to defend the company and make sure that information systems work for the needs of the company and its management, the IT department retained control over the hardware and software used by the company. Workers be able to access the corporate network using their own personal computers, smartphones, and tablets. Next, grid computing. This utilizes the idle computational resources of separate, geographically remote computers to create a single virtual supercomputer. In this process, a server computer breaks data and applications into discrete chunks that are parceled out to the grid's machines. Grid computing offers increased cost savings, computational speed, and agility. This also entails tying geographically dispersed computers together in a single network. Grid computing makes use of the fact that most computers in the U.S. only use their central processing units for their assigned duties on average of 25% of the time, freeing up these idle resources for other processing activities. In order to manage and distribute resources on the grid, grid computing requires software tools. Grid computing business case includes cost savings, computation speed, and adaptability. One of the largest commercial Linux supercomputers in the world is effectively created by its platform, which connects 1,024 IBM servers running Linux. The grid can adapt to the varying data quantities that are common in the seasonal industry. Next, virtualization. This is the process of presenting a set of computing resources, such as a computing power or data storage, so that they can all be accessed in ways that are not restricted by physical configuration or geographic location. Server virtualization enables companies to run more than one operating system at the same time on a single machine, most servers run at just 10 to 15 percent of capacity, and virtualization can boost utilization server utilization rates to 70 percent or higher. Virtualization is the creation of a virtual rather than actual version of something, such as operating system, a server, a storage device, or network resources. Virtualization uses software that, that simulates hardware functionality to create a virtual system. This practice allows IT organizations to operate multiple operating systems, more than one virtual system, and various applications on a single server. The benefits of virtualization include greater efficiencies and economies of scale. OS virtualization is the use of software to allow a piece of hardware to run multiple operating system images at the same time. The technology got its start on mainframes decades ago, allowing administrators to avoid wasting expensive processing power. Next, cloud computing. Cloud computing is the delivery of different services through the internet. These resources include tools and applications like data storage, servers, databases, networking, and software. Rather than keeping files on a proprietary hard drive or local storage device, cloud-based storage makes it possible to save them to a remote database as long as an electronic device has access to the web. It has access to the data and the software programs to run it. The U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology defines cloud computing as having the following essential characteristics. One, on-demand self-service. Consumers can obtain computing capabilities such as server time or network storage as needed automatically on their own. Two, ubiquitous network access. Cloud resources can be accessed using standard network and internet services, including mobile platforms. Number three, location-independent resource pooling. Computing resources are pooled to serve multiple users with different virtual resources dynamically assigned according to 
user demand. Fourth, rapid elasticity. Computing resources can be rapidly provisioned, increased, or decreased to meet changing user demand. Five, measured service. Changes for cloud resources are based on amount of resources actually used. Cloud computing consists of three different types of services. And six, cloud infrastructure as a service. Consumers use processing, storage, networking, and other computing resources from cloud service provides to run their information system. Seven, cloud platform as a service. Consumers use infrastructure and programming tools supported by the cloud service provider to develop their own application. And eight, cloud software as a service. Consumers use software hosted by the vendor on the vendor's cloud infrastructure and delivered over a network. Leading examples are Google Apps, which provides common businesses applications online and Salesforce. And this is the end of our report in Chapter 5, Emerging Technologies and Information Technology Infrastructure. Thank you for listening.